Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about money and being a newbie. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why is it that so many newbie developers are obsessed with the money instead of the craft of actual software development? And the short answer is because because it's not about personal development for these people. It is about status and having something that they can't have. Let me explain. So usually guys, every single thing, regardless of what it is that gains popularity, and I'm, I do mean everything, has two types of followers. You have the people who care about the thing, the people who actually enjoy whatever the little game that we are playing together is, and then you have the people who are only there because of the popularity and social status boost that the thing can give you. This is true for absolutely everything. You can look at the art world, for example. You have people who actually do love and enjoy art, and then you have people who only buy expensive art for the sake of property. You have the wine world, where there are so many people who are wine snobs, and then there are people who actually do and just enjoy wine. And software development, as you can imagine, it's no different. You have the people who truly push things and truly enjoy what they do. And then you have the people who are interested in the money that comes associated with software development. I can promise you that if the, the supply of software developers starts rising and the salary starts dropping, there would be very little reason and very little incentive for anybody to become a software developer. I mean, there's not that many people who will go and say, you know what, I'm going to become a bleeding edge physicist so that I can make a lot of money. It's not really, it's, it's, there's no culture or association between making a lot of money and becoming a scientist, unless you, of course, invent something that's truly amazing, right? But in software development, it's different because in the recent years, it's been proven a few times now is that some of the largest sums of money that to be made are found in the IT world. So naturally, everybody who is more interested in money than anything else are interested in getting in on that. And then when that starts happening and people start getting a little bit curious, and once again, this is not just software development, this is absolutely everything. There's this other group of people who are also very interested in money, many times, in many cases, but you know, there are genuinely good people there as well, who realize that, oh, if we go out on the internet now, or we start promoting and pushing the idea that there's a lot of free money or very easy money, well, then we can sell. We can make money off the gold rush and we can sell that we educate people in getting the skills that they need to make all that, that money. And that's where the boot camps and the job guarantee systems and all of this good stuff comes into play where now they're, they're meta doing the whole thing. They're not making money off software development, which is where the money is supposed to be. They're making money off the people who are trying to get to, to it. It's literally like the gold rush. You don't become a prospector, you become the person who owns all the pickaxes and all that other good stuff that is needed in order to make it. And in, in a way, in a sense, that's actually better than being the prospector because the prospector always faces a large, amount of competition of the, all the other dream seekers who are trying to get in on the gold. And it's only the really experienced prospectors who actually who know how to get the gold and they also know that more than, more than most of the new ones are going to fail because there is no such thing as a free lunch. But we pretend, and that's a very human thing, at the very least from my perspective, to pretend and to self 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 illusions and dreams and hopes and so forth that have no real yeah, well, at, 
there's a small grain of reality embedded there somewhere, but it's more about the dream than it is about the reality. And if you knew what the reality of software development was, you would understand why it's simply not true that there is a lot of free money to be made in software engineering. The reality is that there's a lot of work and there's a fairly high requirements bar in before you get into the industry, depending on, of course, your path through your career. And then there's a lot of other trade-offs that you make, just as you make with any other profession. It's if, if you're going to get rich, yes. If you start your own company, you might be able to make it. You have a very good foundation for making it big and becoming successful and so forth. But no one has ever become uh, truly successful through their own means will go and say, tell you that there's no work involved. There's a lot of work involved. And focusing on the money more on the software engineering part of programming <coughs> is just that. It's, it's sim it simply comes down to that you believe that this thing here is a ticket to, uh, ticket to your ticket up. That's what, what it comes down to. And a lot of new programmers who have this idea they are in for an awakening. And in my experience, it's very rare that they survive in the industry. So what I want you to take away from this is just that the reason why a lot of new programmers are more focused on salaries and so forth than anything else is because this is one of the few areas of the world where a fairly young novice type of person can take an entry level job and make more money than working in the fast food industry, and then progress their career fairly quickly depending on circumstances to a point where they're actually making a really good living. And the really experienced programmers, they're making a really large, they, they make a really good living. The thing that is missed in all of this, that this is true for a lot of other professions as well, where you need to dedicate yourself and get really good at the thing that you're doing in order to actually see that sort of return on investment. But that's the part that we don't, we kind of, exclude from our mental picture of how something works. And that's something that people do all the time. We do it in for absolutely everything. There's always people who are interested in the thing that actually enjoy it. And then there are people who just, you're, they're just there to gain something from it. Money, status, power, whatever it might be. And this is, has gone on since our species came down from the trees or wherever we, ca we came from. And it's not gonna go away as long as we have that ego that gets the, that has the urge to always one up everybody else have a great day